Welcome to part 4 of this Final Fantasy guide. Optionally, purchase the buckler from the hovercraft. This is the only area to get this item. Magic counter is normally only available for weapons. Farm dream powder from the wolf enemies in this area. Use 16 to add sleep strike to your status immobilizer weapon. Overkill mechs don't steal. They have rare drops of Mega Phoenix and Mega Potion. Talk to the trainer in the corner and beat the first training course to unlock Chocobo Riding. Do the Aeon Challenge fight. Go to the Remium Temple and fight all her Aeons. Notable prizes are Chocobo Feathers, X Potions, and Mega Potions. Give Bahamut Haste, Kiraga, and add Protect if possible. Give Valifor, Kira, and add Haste if possible. Next, do the Chocobo Racetrack. Get to the center the first time for the Cloudy Mirror. Run the track again and get 1 through 4 chests without hitting any poles. The important prize is 30 pendulums. You'll use them to craft Master Thief. Go to the old man at the Monster Arena and start capturing enemies for him. Get capture weapons for Orin, Titus, Yuna, and maybe include Waka. Start capturing for the Calmlands and the Thunder Plains. On your way to the Thunder Plains, unlock the Makalania Tree and turn the Cloudy Mirror into the Celestial Mirror. In the Thunder Plains, grab Kamari's Celestial Weapon, Spirit Lance. Go back to the arena and claim your prizes. The Chocobo Wings and 3 Star will customize auto haste and 1 MP cost. Open the chest for Yuna's Celestial Weapon. Give Kamari 1 MP cost on his halberd. Farm Chimeragist with Bahamut smacking him down. You'll get 2 Return Spheres or the Rare Drop of Dark Matter. Give Yuna's capture weapon first strike and equip it so Bahamut can strike twice. It will speed up farming return spheres here since you won't have to heal. First strike is a good add for any two slot initiative weapon. Get quite a few return spheres as they are easier to farm than levels. Go to the Chocobo trainer to complete all the training and beat her in the race for the level 3 key sphere. Now send all your mages to double cast. You have the level 3 and level 4 locks to break them in. From now on, you will no longer use flare. You will use double cast flare. Flare slows the player down and double cast is treated like a normal attack. Not to mention, it is the easiest option to break the damage limit. Return Yuna and Lulu to the level 2 locks that break them out of their sphere grids. Lulu will grab Mug, Yuna will go grab Hastiga and return for the Strength Spheres. Use the White Magic Sphere to get Hastiga for Titus. Then use the Skill Sphere to teleport Titus to Mug and take the path to the Level 3 Key Sphere. After racing, Titus's Celestial Weapon is now available to grab. Go back to the Makalania Tree to perform the ritual for Yuna's Celestial Weapon. This will give Valifor break damage limit. Now beat down Defender X. 
You can use Provoke on him, and he'll continually do a percentage-based attack. Ignore the cavern and head to Mount Gagazette. Buy from the Ronzo Trader. Get armor for Kamari or Riku. Give Riku Auto Haste and Master Thief, or these can be saved for later. There are better drops to customize from an optional Dark Aeon fight. If the next boss is tough or annoying, you can use Auto Haste and Master Thief on Kamari. Save your game and go to the Biron and Yankee fight. Use a Chocobo Feather and then cast Protect and Shell on Kamari. Steal from each to get several level 3 key spheres. There are 15 level 3 locks on the grid and only 9 are useful. You will probably only need 5 to 6 before you reach Xanarkand and can get more. See if Chimerigus dropped Elemental Eater armor for Kamari. This will heal him during battle since they have several elemental attacks. Defeat Piranha and Yankee with overkills. Farm this fight for two friend spheres. There is about a 25% chance to get this drop after each battle. Here are your chances to get this by your first, third, and sixth try. About 1 in 5 people will take more than 6 tries for this. If you don't care to do this farming, you can spend 150,000 gil later. You'll bribe a coral to get 2 or 3 friend spheres. Now go to the sphere grid and have Titus break the level 3 lock to get the 2 strength spheres. If you got the friend spheres, have Yuna teleport to Titus and complete the rest of Riku's Sphere Grid, stopping after opening up the level 1 Key Sphere in Lulu's Grid. Now have Orin teleport to Yuna and work backwards through the Sphere Grid. Go back to Titus and teleport him to Hastiga. Progress to life and backtrack to the two strength spheres. Up next is the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. For the magic urn always hit the center, there's a chance of getting a stamina tablet. Farm Nidhogg with your Master Thief for Gold Hourglass. Once you get 30, you can give your status immobilizer weapon Slow Strike. You'll probably have 30 by the end of Mount Gagazip Trail. You can alternatively capture all enemies from the cave to get items for crafting Slow Touch. Pick up the Fortune Sphere before the boss. Have Titus return to Riku's Sphere Grid and use the Lux Sphere. Beat the boss, it gives no experience. Grab the MP Sphere and Flexible Arm in the side rooms. Make a Status Immobilizer weapon for Riku with the Flexible Arm if you don't already have one. Use Teleport Sphere to send Riku to Mug, or whoever has the Immobilizer weapon. Pay the lowest you can for your Jimbo. Do not triple his offer for two Teleport Spheres. For that price, you could get 12 Friend Spheres that will do the same thing. If you did not do the Lightning Dodge, you can get a No Encounters Drop from the Ghost Enemy. Try and use the Purple Spheres where everyone can access them easily. Optional Strat Up Yojimbo's Affinity in the area before the cave. Pay 2,050 each turn. The area is good for farming gill and mega potions. SOS overdrive weapons are dropped, so sell them. Cut Yojimbo's pay in half after a while once his affinity is high enough. Repeat till his pay is as low as 130 gill. Once you have a high affinity and are getting Zanmatos easily with regular enemies, Fill up Yuna's Overdrive, equip her first strike weapon, and save the game. 
you'll use a grand summon to get Zanmato on Dark Yojimbo. If it fails, work on his affinity. Hopefully you get a good ribbon or break damage limit weapon. Whoever it drops for is one of your new favorites. This tends to be time intensive, so just skip it or get that Titus weapon you really really want. Now proceed to Mount Gagazette. This is another optional section. The first step is to farm Gil till you have 40,000. You'll do the AP weapon trick with it. You need to have upped Yojimbo's affinity as previously described. Now buy up to 32 armors from the Ronzo Trader. You'll get a 2.5x return on what you put in. Capture all enemies in Mount Gagazette, and capture at least two of each underwater fiend. You'll get 30 Megalixir and unlock the area conquest enemy, Katoblipas. Farm him, steal as many stamina tonics as you can with your Master Thief. He also drops good loot to sell, or you can just flee. Stamina tonics are also a common steal from Dark Yojimbo. So if you want to farm him for a lucky drop, you can grab them at the same time. Now use the Stamina Tonics to customize the armor and sell it. Do this till you're out of armor or at 40,000 gil. Get Yuna's Overdrive prepared and save. Fight Earth Eater and Zanmato him. You want a 3-slot triple overdrive weapon. Customize it to add double AP. Go back to Mount Gagazette and fight Mech Scouter. Kill the defenders and bribe the scouter for 92,500. Save and load to make sure you get a 3-drop of Door to Tomorrow. You need this to happen twice for the 4 scouters you will be bribing. You'll have 10 in total to customize Overdrive to AP. You'll craft to make this weapon. Fight Don Tomberry. Have Riku makes Elixir and Dark Matter for double overdrive. Use the normal AP trick where the weapon holder has Comrade Overdrive and the others in battle take the most damage from Dawn. Rinse and repeat, you'll get about 80 levels at a time. Continuing on with the Mount Gagazette trail, get Braska's Sphere for Oren's final overdrive tornado. Talk to Wants. Buy Booster Cactar and add 1 MP cost. Grab the chest at the next corner after wants, for an HP Sphere and a level 4 Key Sphere. Take your mages back to the Dispel Grid. Break the level 3 lock and replace it with an MP Sphere. Go towards the level 4 lock, break it and grab the spheres behind it. Use purple spheres on any empty nodes. Then use a return sphere to go back to the MP node and grab Quick Hit. Take down Seymour. Grab the Saturn Crest between the pillars. Now use the teleport pads and ride a Chocobo to go back to the Makalania tree. Perform the Ritual for Kamari. Ixion now has Break Damage Limit. Give him Haste and the Double Cast ability. He will be able to heal himself and strike an enemy at the same time. 